Good morning. So it's Thursday, February the 9th. Yes, the 9th. Um, I'm a day late, and you're going to get this in the evening instead of the morning. Um, I'm going to catch up on where I am and why things are the way they are. A uh, little window into my world. So I'm at my shop today. Um, this won't get posted until later this evening because I currently don't have internet at the shop. Um, I don't have internet or, or landline phone at the shop because I chose food over internet um, because the shop is doing pretty rough. The consolation prize to that is not only is my shop doing rough, but most of the other small businesses are too. Um, and it's just the economy. It's just the way it is. So I'm trying really hard to not take that personally. Um, it's difficult to not take it personally because I do pour a lot of my heart and my energy and my time, my resources, my love into the shop and to have it not do horribly, horribly well is, is, um, it hurts. It hurts. You know, I have a lot of people who have well-meaning suggestions as to what I should or shouldn't be doing with the shop. The most popular suggestion that most people have is to put an online um, store on my shop. And um, there's a few reasons why I don't do that. I don't do that primarily because I don't want to maintain it. Um, I don't like to maintain things on technology. Every time I touch technology is one more time closer that something's going to fail, which you'll hear about later. Um, but I just don't want to maintain it. Secondly, I don't want to maintain it because most of the stock that I have that most people are interested in is so short term. Um, it's seasonal, it's small batch. I don't want to try and maintain a website and try and maintain stock because I'm the only person that makes my stock. Um, third of all, I don't want to deal with shipping. Uh, shipping is a pain in the neck. I've done shipping for other companies before in both small and large amounts. Um, I've done shipping for makeup companies before. Uh, I know what that entails as far as like wrapping and packaging and I, I don't want to go through all of the fiscal output to get the scales, the labels, the printing machines, and all that jazz. The last reason I'm not interested in running an online store is because, well, I don't have internet at the store. So I'm going to be shuffling things back and forth from home to here to home to here to the post office to home to here. And that really doesn't sound like one more thing that I want to add into my world. Um, I am full up. I am full up. I am done. I am full up. I'm cooked. Um, this last year was really stressful on me, to say the least. This new year is starting out to be even more so. Um, this is the face of anxiety. Let's play it that way. Um, anxiety and depression. I am not dealing well with the um, with the challenges and gifts that life is handing me right now. Uh, we just had a car go down yesterday. It won't come back up until we get our tax returns. Fortunately, those are filed. Um, I was just saying to a friend of mine before Dan had called me yesterday to let me know the car was down, that I felt like the two cars that we have are in a race to see who can die first. Guess what? Truck, truck one. Um, so, you know, we're down a car. And with both of us commuting to Madison at different times of the day, that means one or the other of us is going to have to take off from work fairly often until we can get vehicles fixed or one or the other of us is going to spend extensive amounts of time in Madison. For example, Tuesdays are now going to be starting uh, quite a bit earlier for me because I'm going to ride into Madison with Dan at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning and I will be in Madison trying to find something to do until my lessons start at 3.30. Um, and from there, then Dan is stuck at work until I'm done with my lessons. So, you know, it, it's there are worse things that can happen, surely. Um, but that's just one day of the week. There's six others. Um, technology has hated me lately. Some of you may have caught on to the fact that my, um, my business site at crystalsoulhealing.com was hijacked a few days ago. And... Um, was infiltrated with illicit, explicit content. We'll leave it at that. That shakes a person. It really shakes you up when somebody takes over something of yours that's so personal like that. Um, and I realize, you know, I've had several people say to me, 
don't take it personally um and i understand what they're saying but at the same time it's it's really hard to not take it personally um i had troubles getting into my game a couple of days ago and that sounds pretty minor to a lot of you but for those of you who know me well i spend a lot of time in minecraft and i spend a lot of time in minecraft for the social aspect um so for me to not be able to get into the game was frustrating my keyboard decided to act up on me last night so it's kind of like you know i had somebody say to me last week that i deserve good things because i handle all all of the stresses in my life so gracefully and i just keep right on going and i tell you you know i i appreciate that sentiment i do but it really i really feel like i just can't keep going this is really hard um, and before everybody's radar goes off, no, this is not that cry right before suicide. I'm not that person. I'm not that person. Um, I'm more just kind of, I'm venting and whining and having a pity party because I don't have many pity parties and damn it, I want one right now. Um, it's really hard to smile through this right now. I am feeling a bit overwhelmed. Um, every one little thing that I have to do is just one giant thing that I have to do. Even the stuff I enjoy doing, like coming to my shop, like going to band rehearsal, like picking up the phone and talking to people. Um, you know, I was talking with a friend a few days ago about anxiety and I said, no, I completely understand anxiety. I said, I don't want to go where there are people. I don't want to, I don't want to people. I can't people anymore. Um, Dan and I fell into a case of lucky over the weekend and <clears throat> very long story short um, we were fortunate enough to have been invited to um, attend Phantom of the Opera on other people's good graces that's essentially what I'm going to chalk it up to and I'm very appreciative of that because Phantom of the Opera is the only musical I've ever wanted to see my entire life like literally since it came out um, I am a Phantom aficionado above and beyond the musical and was before the musical so there's my hipster cred for you um but it's kind of like you know how they say no good deed goes unpunished i kind of feel that way we had a really nice night we had a really lovely night we really enjoyed ourselves we were able to kind of remove ourselves from some of our stresses for about five hours and that was really nice and it seems like no no good evening goes unpunished it really feels that way and it's hard to not take things like this personally it really is but back to the anxiety piece it's like I realized how bad my anxiety is getting when it's like all I wanted to do when standing outside of the doors of the theater was go home because there were people a lot of people and all I wanted was to find my pillar to put my back up against because I don't trust people um I, I, you know, I guess what, I guess my purpose for today is, first of all, because I have to do a video. I don't have to do a video because I'm trying to do videos weekly. Um, but one of my purposes for today is not just so much so that I can have my own little pity party, but, um, you know, I know that there are people who watch YouTube videos and they watch, they subscribe to specific people and they watch every video they have. I know because I do this too. And I know that some of you, there is a percentage of you out there that are going to be watching this video and you're going to be relating to some of what I have to say. And you're going to be relating to the overwhelming sadness and the overwhelming anxiety that you're facing in your life. And I think the reason I really wanted to do this is because I wanted to be able to say it's okay. You know, our car doesn't work. Um, my technology is fighting me. I'm scared of people. Um, I wake up every day and I fear what's going to happen, but I have a house, I have a business, I have friends, I have a good support network that will listen to me anytime I want to talk. I have decent health care, which is more than a lot of people can say. I have some food. Uh, it's not the best food. It's not the food that my, um, my diabetic trainer would approve of, but it's food that fills my stomach and keeps me going and, you know keeps me breathing and keeps me relatively healthy I'm not as bad as it could be you're not as bad as it could be you're not alone I'm not alone um, I think 
sometimes we get bogged down by we get bogged down by all of the hard things that we're dealing with and we forget that we're not alone um, it's very easy to forget that you're not alone you're not um, so anybody who's watching this that's having a rough time too drop me a line say hi we'll talk might take me a day or two to get back to you because people but you're not alone I'll hear you I'll talk um, I'll listen hopefully I can help hopefully you can help so I guess I guess that's my video for this week um, you know take it as it is take it for what it is I hope it helps some people I'm sorry to those of you who are watching this and going good lord will she just suck it up um, because you know sometimes you can't sometimes you have to share who and what you are and uh, it's just the way it is so um, happy Thursday to you uh, happy February um, good luck and I'll see you guys next week.